Hey Dragon Slayers! Today's video asks the question of can fasting cause anorexia and who shouldn't fast? Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. Let's get started. Patients suffering from anorexia nervosa should clearly not be fasting since they are already severely underweight and malnourished. Further, Fasting may feed directly into the manifestations of anorexia nervosa. Food is the medicine of choice for an anorexic, so withholding it is ill-advised. However, does fasting cause anorexia? The simple answer is no. Anorexia is a psychiatric disorder of disordered body image. Patients perceive their bodies as overweight even though they are severely underweight. It is a psychological disease and not one caused by undereating. This is the symptom, not the cause. Fasting is not generally fun, and there is little danger of getting hooked on it. It is certainly not addictive in the way that cocaine is addictive. Arguing that fasting causes anorexia is like arguing that washing your hands will lead to obsessive compulsive disorder. Excessive hand washing is a symptom of the disease, not the cause. Furthermore, fasting has been practiced safely for thousands of years by millions, if not billions of people worldwide. But anorexia nervosa is only a very recent phenomena. If fasting caused anorexia, it would have been described thousands of years ago and affected men as well as women. This argues strongly against fasting and is a significant cause. The bottom line, fasting does not cause anorexia, but it should not be attempted by anorexics. Now, we've talked about the many benefits of fasting so far we need to also add a very big caveat, that fasting isn't for everyone. It carries certain risks and normal amounts of vitamins, minerals, and other essential nutrients are not ingested. Some people absolutely should not attempt therapeutic fasting, and those individuals include those who are severely malnourished or underweight children under 18 years of age, pregnant women, breastfeeding women. Other people that should be cautious when fasting, but don't necessarily need to avoid it. In the following situations, it is wise to seek the advice of a healthcare professional before attempting therapeutic fasting. If you have gout, if you're taking medications, if you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes, or if you have gastroesophageal reflux disease, also known as GERD. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. And remember guys, that together, you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.